Extracellular vesicles are small particles that cells use to talk to one another. Let's head into the cell to discover what these secret messages are, how they form, and what they can do. The way in which cells function and communicate is not fully understood. One aspect of cell function which has only recently been looked at is the role of extracellular vesicles, or EVs. EVs are small fatty bags carrying cargo which are released by cells, and it turns out they have many important roles. They can be formed in various ways. Look to your right. Microvesicles are a type of EV formed when the cell surface bends outwardly until it pinches off, with its cargo loaded into the microvesicle as it forms. Other types of EV that form from the cell surface are also made, such as apoptotic bodies that form when cells are dying. Another type of EV is called an exosome. The cell surface curves inwardly forming bubbles, which are better known as vesicles, that come inside the cell and carry material from the surface of the cell and the space outside the cell. These vesicles then fuse with a cell structure called the early endosome. The early endosome moves along special protein tracks and as time passes, various specialised proteins bind to the surface. The membrane curves inwardly leading to the formation of smaller vesicles with various types of cargo sorted into them as they form. This structure becomes known as a multivesicular body or MVB. The MVB is then carried to the cell surface along protein tracks. When the MVB fuses with the cell surface, it leads to the release of the vesicles inside the multivesicular body. When these vesicles are released by the cell, they become known as exosomes. It was originally thought that EVs were only used by cells to remove rubbish from the cell. But now it's clear that EVs can play many functional roles. EVs can carry different types of cargo, including proteins and RNA molecules that can be delivered to recipient cells. This cargo can be used by the recipient cell, leading to changes in the cell's function. EVs that reach other cells can bind to and signal through protein receptors on the cell surface. They can also fuse with the cell surface or enter the cell to deliver their cargo. The content and number of EVs can change under different conditions, such as during a stress or immune response. Cells undergoing cell death can also release EVs, known as apoptotic bodies and apoptotic microvesicles. EVs can cross biological barriers and have been found in every body fluid tested so far. EVs in these body fluids could serve as sources of biological markers of disease, as the content of EVs can change in some diseases. Look around you. All cells can secrete or take up EVs, so there's an ongoing dialogue between cells that regulates many biological processes, like the immune response, blood vessel formation, and even aging. EV function can go wrong in many diseases, like cancer, and EVs could be harnessed to deliver medicine. EVs are a fascinating new field of research, and although we've learnt a lot about them, there are still lots of exciting discoveries left to be made about how they work.